Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today I'm here with a book haul. Uh, this book haul is going to be what I acquired during my second complete visit to Dalkey Archives website. And by that I mean uh, this is the second time that I acquired uh, multiple books uh, on their site. Uh, I've gotten books from Dalkey Archive, uh, the publishing, uh, but they were different occasions, different shopping trips, different sites. Uh, but this was a trip that I took directly to their site, and I got eight books in the process. Their concentration is literary fiction, literary criticism, uh, nonfiction on more... Uh, on aspects that involve more, that have a literary undertone to them. Uh, and they have a wide array. Uh, they have different series from across the globe. Uh, and they will publish and translate uh, from various countries. Uh, so the eight books that I got, I got three novels and then the others are collections of short stories and poetry. So we'll start with the three that are novels. The first one is called God's Wife. This was written by Amanda Mikalopalu and translated from the Greek by Patricia Felisa Barbado. And this is told from an unnamed narrator that declares that she is God's wife and explores the various as aspects as to what it is to be someone in that position. I thought that the concept was just really intriguing and something that I wanted to acquire. I saw it and then I said that if I was going to pay a visit to Dalkey Archive and buy anything, this is one that I wanted to buy. Next up, I got The Last Voyage of Somebody the Sailor by John Barth. Uh, John Barth is an American writer, and this particular work pertains to a journalist by the name of Simon Beller. Uh, he falls overboard off the coast of Sri Lanka, and when he's washed ashore, he's washed ashore into Baghdad several years back, and... Uh, comes across Sinbad the Sailor, and the two of them engage in an exchange of uh, telling stories. And I thought that this is just a really interesting exploration. Uh, it could be viewed as historical fiction, could be viewed as experimental fiction, magical realism. Uh, it, I'm very curious to see what direction this book takes. Next, I got Annihilation, which is part of the Coleman Dowell Literature Series. Uh, this was written by Peter uh, Sw uh, Swikes and translated by Ewa Her Herniquitz Yarborough. And this has to do with the day in the life of a Polish Jewish town. Uh, shortly before World War II, uh, and thus shortly before the Holocaust and the uh, infliction of horror that uh, Nazi Germany was going to place on them. Uh, this in itself is going to be very horrific because of what is to come. Uh, what happens right before a horrible way of living uh, takes place within this area. Now we move into the short works. The first I got is from the Romanian literature series, and this is Waiting, uh, by Dumitru Cespinig, and translated into English from
from the Romanian by Patrick Calamer. And this is a collection of short stories that uh, Cespanig uh, put together before being sent into exile. Uh, this kind of uh, reminds me of Bruno Schulz's Street of Crocodiles, because the short stories in here are interconnected with each other. But it, it, it would be very interesting to get his perspective and the perspective of one that lived in Romania and in such conditions. Next, I got The Complete Butcher's Tales uh, by Ricky Durkanet. And this is a collection of short stories. There are several, and many of them are short shorts. I think I saw one in there that's more than five pages. Uh, but there are some that are just a single page. And this completely ignores the confines of space and time and just takes on uh, what I'm guessing is a more absurdist uh, tone. I'm really curious to see uh, the direction that Ricky Ducournet takes as she writes these stories. Next is Contemporary Macedonian Fiction, translated and edited by Paul Thaleve. Uh, this is a collection of 16 short stories written by writers from Macedonia. And I'm really curious to learn about their approach to storytelling and the various writers that come from uh, Macedonia. Uh, Dalky Archive is known for their best European fiction series and I also own a collection of uh, modern and contemporary Swiss poetry that they put together. And I like being able to have a collection of uh, global fiction at my fingertips, uh, especially when it's uh, when it concentrates on a particular country and their writers. And I think it's amazing to have uh, these uh, Macedonian writers garnering attention across the globe, uh, and in particular to the English-speaking world. Uh, these are, you might be able to get someone that picks up renown. Uh, they get attention from, into, in another country. Uh, but uh, perhaps there is a hidden gem, one that I am going to want to rave about uh, in the videos to come. Next, I got Best of Contemporary Mexican Fiction. Uh, this was edited by Alvaro Ribe and then translated from Spanish by Olivia Sears. Uh, this looks like it is going to be this looks like there's going to be many more uh, short stories in here, but there's actually only 16 of them because on one side, the uh, on one on the left side it's Spanish, and on the right side is where you get it in English. So if you want to read it in Spanish, you look at the left side. If you want to read it in English, you look at the right side and just follow the right side. I think the most important thing, though, is that uh, the quality of the stories in here are good, and that would be my basis as to what I think about this collection. If I like the stories, then I think it's worth it. And finally, I got Modern Poetry of Pakistan. Uh, this is edited by... Iftikhar Arif, and translations were edited by Vakis Kavaja. And 
The thing to keep in mind with this, though, is that this was translated from seven major languages. Six of them are regional, and one is national. And this collection includes poems from 44 different poets and uses 15 different translators. Uh, and the reason I wanted to acquire this is because I want to know more about Pakistan and their literature. Because I did... I read an article, uh, they ranked the countries that dislike America the most, and Pakistan ranked number one. Uh, I want to learn more about uh, the values of the common people in Pakistan, and I'm more concerned about why they think a certain way than what they're thinking. It's nice to know what they're thinking, and it's nice to know how they come about their conclusions. But the question of why really gives me that idea as to what drives the what and the how. Uh, so I am inclined to dip in and out of this collection. So this is everything that I got from Dalkey Archive. It has a very sophisticated and very refined taste as far as their literature is concerned. And I really want to make my way through more of it. I did read a collection of uh, Korean short works. I wasn't too fond of that collection, but hopefully the ones that I have here are better. I want to thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you check out some more videos from our channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe because you can not only check out some of my videos, but check out uh, the videos of others. Uh, and if you really, really like what you see, please support us on our Patreon for the money that we make will allow us to provide you, the viewer, with even more great content. For now, keep reading.